Thomas. It's nice to finally meet you. Um, I am a uh, longtime Loudoun County resident. I'm the uh, uh, Capital Area Director for American Atheists. We're here to talk about uh, the Christmas displays. Um, the government is not a church. It is not the job of the government to promote, endorse, or guarantee the success of anyone's religion. That's prohibited by the Constitution and cannot be ignored just because you have the muscle. What's being whispered about this committee is that it is it was instituted as a rubber stamp for a decision that's already been made by the Board of Supervisors to do whatever is necessary to keep the Christian displays on the lawn and keep the atheists off. It will not be that easy and it will not be that simple. The government simply cannot provide special access and privileges to Christians and exclude all other viewpoints. What you do here will be historic. The county wants to put up a nativity, a menorah, and a Christmas tree in the belief that rearranging these deck chairs will satisfy everybody and somehow magically pass constitutional muster. It will do neither. There are two Supreme Court decisions you need to be aware of going forward. Um, Allegheny County v, uh, versus ACLU, 1989. This is Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The Supreme Court found their nativity scene to be an endorsement of religion and a violation of the Establishment Clause. This ruling is the law of the land in the United States of America. The county simply cannot put up a nativity display. They will get sued and they will lose. If the county tries to get around this law by allowing a private group or person to erect a nativity, they will run into Review Board versus Panette, 1995, a Columbus, Ohio decision. The Supreme Court determined that the county, that if the county allows for a forum for viewpoints on the lawn, it must allow any and all viewpoints on the lawn. This also is the law of the land. The county simply cannot allow one group on the lawn while denying others. The county will get sued and the county will lose. Now, I was accused recently of making threats. I don't make threats. It is not a threat to warn a child that they're about to burn their fingers. It's important and valuable information. Uh, the county may be about to burn its fingers. The county is going to get sued and they will lose. This case is pre-lost for the county. It will cost the county $2 million to pursue this course. Not only that, it's lawless, it's reckless, it is fiscally irresponsible in the extreme, and it's totally unnecessary. In 1995, someone in Loudoun County decided to test separation church and state by adopting the infamous student-led prayer scheme. The ACLU sued Loudoun County and won. It took about 10 minutes and cost a half million dollars. People that made this decision cost this county a half million dollars of other people's money. Your actions here will do one of three things. You can end all the displays on the lawn and then this is all over. Or you can lead the county into long-term turbulence, bad press, and a pointless waste of other people's money by ignoring the Constitution and Supreme Court precedent. We will oppose that vigorously. We have offered a third way, and that is to put up a large, lighted holiday tree with no religious symbols. Everyone would enjoy that, and the problem would be solved. We would not oppose that. The nativity will, however, bring a lawsuit. It's time for some rational pragmatism here. Respect and abide by the letter and spirit of the Constitution and the Supreme Court, and let the religious people put religious displays on religious property. That is the correct thing to do, and no one's rights are in any way diminished. This is not a church to any religion other than democracy, and it's time to respect that. Thank you. The music of the spheres is music to my ears. A soft melody is soothing, moving me to tears. I woke up in a cave. I saw the shadows on the wall and the shackles on the saw. Didn't even know I was a slave. The dawn of me was when I made an armory. Simple utensils and basic pottery. Went on an odyssey, sailed the coldest dark seas. I got seasick, at least I had Hippocrates. I met Siddhartha the Buddha and he walked with me. He let me go, but he never had forgotten me. I talked to Socrates, we talked philosophy. Until he got to me, I told them not to bother me talk to some prophets but everything they talked to me could have been gotten by a frontal lobotomy they brought me darkness and in this darkness it dawned on me the amazing gift copernicus brought to me thus began my apostasy of prophecy but it gave me most of all the art we see i was there newton saw the fruit drop on me when science succeeded philosophy's monopoly like a child